Welcome to Heavy Handed Hobbies. Today I wanted to take a look at the Warhammer Warboss on Wyvern. Originally it was a metal kit, but it is now plastic. Um, the problem I didn't like with it is a little straight. And I wanted to take this straight body and make it more curved, like a serpent. Similar to something like he did here. I think this is a nice example of what I was going for. And of course the new one that's out is awesome, and I need to pick that up at some point. Here we are with the assembled model. Uh, let's take a look what I've done here. I, I've arranged it in such a way that um, it's kind of more like a snake. My goal here was to give it more of a serpentine feel, like a S shape, if that's possible. Tried to blend in the green stuff to, uh, so I've got really old green stuff, so um, some of it's not very good. But I used a V-shaped chisel to carve in these kind of cuts and tears in the wings. Did it on the under underside of both wings, and I also used a pinhole drill to drill some holes to kind of give it that ragged look like it's a, a war-torn uh, wyvern. As you can see, like some of the green stuff didn't mix well. It's very old, and yeah, but I think it'll still cover well. And again, um, just getting a look close up there, we've got, I tried to blend it into the scales on the back. I think it'll look good once it's all primed. Same with there on the tail. But um, overall, it's got that, see, it's got that kind of bend in its body, and, and that's kind of what I wanted. It's got that nice S shape, as you can see here. So let's get this thing primed. Here we have the primer I used. It's just a basic Krylon flat primer. I believe I bought it at Michael's or something like that. Um, nothing special. So let's take a look at the primed fig. Um, I think it came out okay. You can you could tell if you know, if you look back on the video, you can see where the green stuff was, but it's not obvious. I, I'm really pretty happy with see here you, I'm really pretty happy with how hidden it all is um, obviously some of these scales are a little different but uh, on the belly here you can see coming some of the carving marks I probably could have sanded it a bit more to make it smoother but it's all right um, I'm okay with it I obviously realized afterwards I forgot to glue the horns on so we're going to have to spray a little more, but I did a light coat. The wings here um, look good all torn up, but they probably need another coat anyway, so I'll do that with the horns. Um, yeah, the, the green stuff is there, and you can kind of see it uh, if you know what you're looking for, but I think it's hidden pretty well, the seams. And of course, yeah, here's some of the... Uh, spots that probably could have used more sanding. But uh, overall, it's all right. I'm pretty happy with it. So here we are putting on the final primer coat with the horns intact. As you can see here, we have our glistening black wyvern. Of course, that's going to become a dull coat. We still have to do our whole war boss, but that's going to be a different video that rides on the back. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so that concludes the assembly and prime. So next up, we're going to be doing uh, the painting video. Uh, if you like this, uh, please like and subscribe. I've uh, just started this channel and want to see how it goes. So please give me some support. I really appreciate it. And I hope you'll enjoy the next one, painting. 